this situation arriving promptly at our secret meeting point for today's briefing. Obviously, you all viewed the message hit inside the candy cane you delivered earlier today. Commander, as you can see, we have an unexpected development. I think we've all seen that, H.D. Commander, Frankie's a friend of mine from school, and I can assure you she is completely trustworthy. Hey, dude, this sounds like a conversation that we should have in private, don't you think? Commander, I could test out my latest com 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 invention, the super silent fruit muffs. Anyone who wears them won't be able to hear a thing. Well, thank you, Agent L. Are these made of fruit cake? Yes, yes they are. Here you go. Try these on. Commander, she followed us here, so I sort of had to tell her we were undercover. Agent E, you don't want to compromise the whole season, would you? Christmas intelligence kids wouldn't be secret agents if, you know, they weren't secret. Excuse me. Just a minute. We'll be with you in a moment. Commander, and I would never do anything to jeopardize the CIK. Excuse me? I've done the calculations, and there is a 97% probability that Frankie will be a great addition to the CIK. I knocked off three points for her slight tendency towards clumsiness. Um, I can still hear you. Oops. I was so sure these were going to work. Maybe they need more walnuts. Good thing is they'll be good for months. Agent L, now she knows even more than what she got here. I can fix that. I recently invented a memory eraser machine. Where is it? Well, I tested it on myself, so I forgot where I left it. But I'll go look for it. Agent E, I see we have no choice but to activate your friend. Your name? Frankie. Frankie, this year your code name will be Agent F. Welcome to the CIA. Yay! 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 Wait, what next? We'll get to our responders and we'll take us some bad guys. Please, riding. Hi, yeah! <laughs> that won't be necessary. Please issue Agent F a hat. As you all know, each of our agents' hats are equipped with communication devices in case we need to contact you. Like a cell phone? But it's a hat. May I have an eye hat? That's cute. I found it! I found it! I found the memory racer! I just have to adjust the trigger and. Well, don't just stand there. Bring it here. Bring what there? <laughs> Forget her. Let me explain, Agent F. We spend our free time every December searching for ways to spread Christmas cheer to people who need it. And at this time of year, there are a lot of them out there. I gathered you all here for a reason. We have a new mission. Oh, I love a good mission. <laughs> Where's the memory eraser? Memory eraser? <laughs> There's no such thing. But that does sound like a good idea for a new invention. But I do have an invention that's perfect for a silent night like this. A silent night? A, a silent, silent night! night. Kids, why don't you explain it, Sage Nell?
give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets to be honored by men. When you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Matthew 6, 2 through 4. I have an urgent mission from a high profile client to just pretend our services. As you all know, we do like to fly under the radar and seek out our own Christmas missions. But this client was particularly convincing on the phone. She insisted on coming in to give us a mission herself. Who's in charge here? I am. You must be Miss King. Agents, I'd like to introduce you to Miss Harriet King. It's Herit. Rhymes with parrot? I'm sorry? It's pronounced Herit. The I is silent. Okay, so King, Herod, got it. Did you say King Herod? No, I said King Herod. Oh, King well, Tom Herod? Well, it sounded like... I know what it sounded like, but... Can we get on with this? Certainly, Miss King. Is this a secure location? May I speak freely? Why, yes. You may speak freely in front of all my agents. Agents? <laughs> Why, these are just children. Yes, but they're fully trained Christmas intelligence operators. They let children into the CIA? Actually, we're the CIK, Christmas Intelligence Kids. Oh, that's what I get for skimming the contract, I guess. Now that the team has been simple, why don't you fill us in on the details of the mission? Absolutely. Lately, I've been noticing some unusual activity at one of the many properties I own in this town, a local warehouse. It seems there have been shipments arriving every day, brown paper packages of all shapes and sizes. Now, naturally, I try to stay out of the affairs of my tenants, but I do need to know if anything illegal is going on. Well, I know what. I can use my latest invention. The jingle alert. Add pending. Another invention. Agent, no. I don't need a run to your track record of your other inventions, do I? The chocolate and chocolate. Have any groups? The cotton candy umbrella? Oh, no, Commander. The jingle alert has been tested and is filled ready. Once the CIK team retrieves information, we'll just push the button and alert you to let you know the mission has been accomplished. It doesn't explode or anything, does That's it? That's a bar. Bethlehem went. Everyone else dismissed. Yes, my first mission. Mm. You know, we usually only accept missions that include bringing Christmas cheer to people. After we uncover the information we need, we'd really like to do something special for the people there, if you don't mind. Absolutely. I just need you to do your spy thing, and I'll take care of the rest. Understood. Miss King, Merry Christmas. Oh, uh, Merry, Merry, c c c c Merry, c Bleh, yes, that's the word. You see, it all started, oh, so many years ago. When I was young, there was a toy store down the street. Can I have a little bit more of myself in the monitor, please? Feel the fancy toys and candy that was sweet. I didn't have much. So I wrote a note to Santa Asking him for one thing A bicycle with training wheels And I waited and I waited But the present never came That was the day I knew That Christmas and I were through like tinsel, I don't like eggnog, ornaments or mistletoe, wrapping paper, falling snow, I dislike elves, they're kind of creepy, or boughs of holly, and I'm not too fond of people who are jolly, I mean, really, ho ho ho, who's that happy, I don't like Christmas cards, they annoy me, just an email, and reindeer, well they bore me, and carols make my headache, so please don't sing them And don't take this the wrong way But what's all the fuss about just one day? There's just no way to get around it I don't like Christmas You won't change my mind about it I don't like Christmas Everyone! I don't like Christmas I expect your bigger response. That's okay, you'll get
forget it next time. You don't like Christmas? That's crazy. Believe it, sweetie. I don't like candy canes. They give me cavities. In Christmas trees, they aggravate my allergies. Such and such is fall apart. So please don't buy it. And don't take this the wrong way. So what's all the fuss about just? Here, hidden deep in the fine print, it states, no Christmas celebrations. Soon I'll have the proof I need, and I can evict them for good! Ha 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 ha! I really don't like Christmas. Grab their hat, Peyton. Can you believe it's nearly time for our nativity play? Thank you all for working so hard for our community project tonight. Before we begin our last rehearsal, are there any questions? Are we going to have snack today? Can we use your live sheep? Are you crazy? Who wants to snack on live sheep? <laughs> yes, there will be snack today, and no, we will not be using any live sheep. <laughs> also, this isn't a question, but I heard the Crosby kids have chicken pox. Yes, I am aware that our wise men will not be joining us tonight. But God will provide. He always does. So, it looks like they're doing a play. Should we activate the jingle alert? Not yet. We still don't know what's in the boxes. But we have to be careful not to. Let me know. Well, who do we have over here? Come on out. Don't be shy. Are you here for the rehearsal? Um, yes we are. <laughs> this looks like it's going to be perfect. Three spots just opened up. Josiah, will you help our new wise men into their costumes? <laughs> now, let's continue with the song about what was happening before the angels and before the manger. God's people were waiting, longing for a savior. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light on those living in the land of deep darkness, light has dawned. Isaiah 9, 2.
strike. It can penetrate almost any material and let us know what's inside. So you go distract the snake on the others? No problem. Agent S, this is what is called creating a diversion. Ouch! Oh no! I slipped on a candy cane! Oh no, this is terrible! Are you alright? Yes, it's a diversion. I'm drawing attention to myself so that Agent L can figure out what's going on with those packages. Oh no, it's terrible! Can you walk? Oh my goodness! Are you alright? What happened? I slipped on a <laughs> How did the candy cane get on our stage? I don't know, but I think my ankle is... Anchor is a framework. Mission accomplished. Really much better, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Uh, wise men, will you please help unload all the boxes that have been arriving all week while the angels, shepherd, and sheep join me on the stage, please. Let's start at the top of the scene with the angels. There were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. Now let's stop for a minute. Um, shepherds, how are you supposed to be reacting right now? Terrified. <laughs> I've seen you look terrified, and that's not it. How about this? <gasps> <laughs> that's not it either. How would you react to, say, your dog eating your iPod? <laughs> You're getting it, but let's keep working on it. So what did you find out? Did your exercise work? Of course it worked. What am I if it does not work? Okay, wait, I take that back. So what was inside? Was it something dangerous and illegal? Shoes. Shoes? We can't activate the jingle alert unless we have something more than shoes to report. Let's keep investigating. Okay, Cass. We have our shepherds and angels. So let's think about that message that the angels brought to those ordinary shepherds so long ago. They had been waiting as long as they could remember. And the Messiah was finally to be born. It was the greatest news they could possibly have hoped for. Don't be afraid. I got the greatest news in history. Don't be afraid. So it seems a mystery Find the little child Lying in a manger This will be a sign Finally a savior and a baby Just to continue my uh c Christmas celebrations. Don't worry. I'm sure we'll see the transmission any minute. Excellent. I scheduled a quick manicure in the lounge while we wait. Lounge? What lounge? That tiny space around the corner. My office? Oh sure, sweetie. <laughs> Commander, why are we helping her? 
What do you mean, Agents? She's our client. Of course we want to help her. She does not like Christmas. What? 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 Why would you say something like that? I heard her say it with my own ears. I heard her say if they were doing anything with Christmas, she would evict them. Oh, I don't know what that means. But, but it doesn't sound, sound nice. Okay. It means kick them out. Oh. No. Oh. Don't panic, everyone. We'll simply call the emergency channel in their hats telling them not to activate the jingle alert. Attention, I have an update. We are very excited to tell you that we have surpassed our goal in tracking packages coming in by the truckload. At this rate, we will be able to bless hundreds of families in our community. Yay! Yay! one of you. Most of you have even sacrificed buying gifts for your own family to support our community project. Bingo! I think we got what we need. The packages are Christmas gifts for the community. Let's activate the jingle alert. Mission accomplished! Okay, let's set for the manger scene. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. CIK emergency. CIK emergency. Does anybody hear that? Where is that voice coming from? Sorry, I must left my cell phone on. Weird ringtone, dude. I know, right? <laughs> Please, everyone, keep your cell phones off until after this rehearsal is over. Continue. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. I 
flashlight where you were looking for this you've left it in the lounge <laughs> now where were we oh yes you're in violation of the contract and are to be evicted effective immediately wait but what about the gifts what about the nativity what about the snacks <laughs> surely you understand miss king that we have a huge event planned for the community tonight perhaps you could just make an exception because it's christmas not a chance. You have 10 minutes to leave the property or I'll call the authorities. <gasps> Listen, we don't need a building to show God's love. Our community has been selflessly giving of their time and treasures all month. And I know God will honor these efforts. But how do you know? The Bible says that we can trust God with all our hearts. He is in control. Mary and Joseph, excuse me. Mary and Joseph trusted God when they heard that King Herod was out searching for the baby Jesus. Mary knew that God had chosen her to give birth to his son, and she knew he would continue to take care of them. There are days you wake up and nothing's going your way. It's not always easy to simply trust and obey. Seven, section 2, paragraph 4, it states that the, if the contract is broken, everything in the building, the building belongs to, uh, me. We'll just start again. It's just stuff and tree treasure. Is there anything you can hold or touch? That's right, Josiah. It sounds as if people have begun arriving outside. Let's all go outside and leave all these packages with Miss King. 
we'll, our, birth of, our celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ will go on as scheduled without the props, the set, and even the gifts. Well, you're taking this much better than I expected. But I still understand. You've been collecting these boxes for months. Now you won't be able to have community like you planned. God's timing is perfect, and we don't want to do anything that He is not directing. When it's time to give gifts, He will provide. But until then, we just need to stay faithful and give, our, give ourselves to Him as a gift. Are we ready? Places, everyone. Merry Christmas, everyone, and thank you all for coming. And to you all for coming today. We are thrilled to be here in the room. We deliver you the greatest Christmas gift ever. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth to Bethlehem, the town of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born. And she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. After Jesus was born, the Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star in the east and had come to worship him. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary, and they bowed down and worshipped him. something for you. What? What do you mean? It was mine and I was saving it for when she got older, but we want you to have it. It's, it's a bicycle with training wheels. You said you wanted one. But after I tried to stop the Christmas celebration, why would you be so kind to me? 
God gave us the greatest gift of Christmas. And that gift lives inside of us. Giving our lives back to him is our gift. <sighs> tissue. I need tissue. And a latte while you're at it. Thank you, darling. Extra hot. 12 pumps of vanilla. Oh, okay. I've never experienced this in my life. I'm at a loss, I say. A loss. <sighs> <sighs> no one has shown me such kindness when I've been so, so less than perfect. There's a tiny chance I, I may have overreacted. Well, when we give to others, we are imitating the actions of the greatest giver who gave us the ultimate gift 2,000 years ago. God coming down to earth to save us. That's amazing. Thank you. But don't just stand there. We need to pack out, pass out these packages to the people in our community who need them. Miss Pink, want to go out pass out gifts with us? Only if I can ride my bicycle. Can you know how to ride the bike? No, but how hard can it be? But first, I feel a song coming on. Can I have a spotlight follow me over here, please? Oh, well. I like this garland, I like this wreath, and those jolly little elves, well I guess they're kind of sweet, I like those carols, so keep on singing, I just want to stand and say, let's all celebrate Christmas Day, there's just no way to get around it, I love